Shalom, brothers and sisters. Greetings. This is Wendem Yadin. And uh, today's day, uh, what is today? Today is the 20, the 23rd? Um, mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, we want to touch briefly on... Um, this particular, this particular, the reason for the season, I began off, actually the 22nd, it's the 22nd, it's Monday the 22nd, what a beautiful um, Shabbat, uh, we gathered together on the air in the spirit for the previous Shabbat, which was the 10th, um, the 10th Torah portion known as uh, Mik Eight or Mik Et. Bechalam in the Amharic, which refers to at the end and refers to I and I, I and I brother Yosef, Joseph in Egypt. But there's a very interesting um, prophecy there for I and I as Rastafari, those who have the the spirit and the truth of the King of Kings in Christ and who are in that true Judeo Christian identity. I'll explain that, y'all willing, as I and I go forward. In other words, when you see the, 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 the call, the faithful and chosen Rastafari, you are seeing the resurrection of the true followers of the Mushiach, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's almost like they say a twilight zone. And in a sense, it is a twilight zone. His Majesty. He shortened that day. Adamawi Haile Selassie says so. If that if those days were not shortened for the elect sake, right? Elect sake. Even Burhana Selassie, aka Bar Mali, said that one of the interviews, I think it's on Conqueror Real Talk or Conqueror the First. It's a YouTube's channel. If you can check it out, I think there's a video on martial on martial law. I think that video is on martial law. I have to I have to go and check out that particular video working on a a mash DVD, one of I and I privy DVDs, you know, sometimes we just collect, you know, certain video things that we watch on the YouTubes and some of it we'll mention or refer to and some we'll make available in the doc videos. But since sometimes we, you know, we study and, 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 you know, view and review a lot of um, various information that we search out that's brought to I and I, you know, we don't want to overwhelm ones, but those who are interested, we'll call it, you know, the the secret stash, so-called secret stash. What we mean by that is, you know, like eight hours, up to eight hours worth of videos. And um, where we just compile certain things according to like theme, what we call a mash DVD. What we've recommended that brothers and sisters can do with I and I videos, because sometimes you'll find our videos and other videos by other um, broadcasters and, and presenters to be speaking in spirit and in truth to the same matter. So some people will chop, chop those videos and, you know, make a new production or we just gather in, you know, just Intel gather and share with those who are willing and who are able to receive. So that's, that is what I and I recommend as well to the brothers and sisters a little bit. You know, we digressed on that point right there a little bit, but this is a point that we have shared with some and wanted to actually share with others. But, you know, the harvest is the harvest is 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 ready. You know, the harvest is ready, but the laborers, the co-laborers um, are, are few. The Sabaot, you know, are few. So we pray to the Adonai, the Doni I of the Sabaot that more of the I them brothers and sisters will come into the um into the vineyard. You understand? But first you have to be attached to the vine, the King of Kings in Christ. And this is why the gospel, the Wengel, the good news is so very important. Now 
I wanted to do this video before I, I try to put up um, Bob Marley's um, Hammer song, which you will hear playing in the background. And that's one of the songs that we find in spirit and in truth to be one of the reasons for the season, right? And this particular Torah portion previous, the 10th Torah portion, um, Yosef, you know, Yosef is in Egypt. Yosef rises to that, they would call it on second in command, as it were, Yosef, the economist. And Benjamin plays a very important role. I really would strongly advise and recommend brothers and sisters to check out the discipleship radio, right? The broadcasts that are on discipleship radio. Let's see if we can bring some of this up right here. Um, let's see. I don't know if, I don't know if it's this uh, particular page right here. Um, there's a link that we were looking for from um, Norman uh, Reddington. Norman Reddington. We have pointed out um, that Orthodox uh, priest uh, um, work previous and his uh, particular interesting and I'll say true to the real um, faith, you know, the faith that was once delivered to the saints, the true Ethiopic faith, because there's a spiritual warfare, right? Even in the Ethiopian church, those events led to what we have witnessed historically circa 1974-75 in that great apostasy amongst the Ethiopians and the, and, the, and, and the so-called revolution, which was more like a rebellion, right? Against God and Christ, against the King of Kings. Now, um, the particular page I was looking for, I don't see it right here. We'll probably have to search the link. It's a link on here to, um, okay, let me show you this video since this is going to be on uh, Maccabees, right? Touching on Maccabees and the revelation that we find in um, Bob's, uh, Bob's song, The Hammer, right? There's this Orthodox priest here, right, um, from St. Pacomonius Library, right here, St. Paco, oh, Paco, uh, Pacomius, Pacomius Library. His name is Norman Hugh Reddington. And some of y'all might recall um, this particular video right here, um, Redemption Song, right? Redemption Song. Let's get as tight as we can so you can see it on in the rebroadcast. Okay. Redemption Song, Bob Marley, Itation, Abiyah's Om, right? Abiyah's Om Meditation, Hudade to Fasico or Pesach. And it was called, I think, Itations. I think that's what its name is. Let me just click on the video right here. And this is from um, 2009 on the Ethiopia World Net, the Ethiopia World Net channel, which is uh, still broadcasting. We haven't um, uploaded anything new, but have that as a kind of an online reference, um, a reference source right there. So here's the particular vid. This is the, the video that we're speaking of right here. Let's see if it, see if it loads in. Now, while that particular video loads in, the reason for the season, here we go right here, Rastafari Hanukkah, right? Rastafari Hanukkah. Okay. I think I'll be able to maybe find that file, but one of the links for that particular file that was available back in 09, 2009, is not available today, right? It's not available today. I think we have some copies of it and we'll seek to make that um, particularly available. The link between Rastafari and the book of Maccabees, the link between this particular song of Burhana Salase. Um, known as the hammer. Let's bring this up. Okay. 
Okay, that tune right there. Now, many of Bob's tunes, for those who have an ear to hear, right? Those who have an ear to hear what the spirit, the spirit of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Memphis Kedus, as I and I say, the Isla Irit, you know? Those who are able to receive the true positive, the Holy Spirit vibrations in these tunes, of Barhana Salasi will begin to grow and recognize as I and I are growing and recognizing in the glory of his majesty, the B-I-B-L-E, and his spirit of grace in the name of his son, Yeshua HaMushia, Jesus Christos, I and I, black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, begin to recognize, oh, this tune right here, the hammer, the arama, arama, remember there's, there's this wailing, there's a wailing, a lamentation that's heard in Rama. It's Rachel, Rachel, weeping for her children. Now, the Dekam is a Morit. I and I fellow um, co-disciples, brothers and sisters who have been studying, and you can check that, I think, in the previous uh, Torah portion. I think it's either portion portion 8, 9, and 10, or maybe from 7, 8, 9, and 10. I think it's probably in 8, where it's speaking of the death of um, Rachel, right? In that particular broadcast on Discipleship Radio, um, that revelation was, um, was, was, was brought out, that it was dawned, right? That the dawn of that particular revelation concerning the link between Rachel or Rachel the favored wife of Yaakob or Father Jake, Black Jack, Black Jacob, um, when she had passed away, the connection now we have in the prophets, right? The connection we have in the prophets is to this lamentation which is being heard in Arama. Now, Arama mean height, Arama. Now, we also have Ruhama. Ruhama refers to the mercy in Hebrew. We say Meheret. Right, Mahari, right, Meheret, and then we have in the Hebrew, um, um, Rahem, Raham, 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 Rahama, as we have in Hosea, Hosea, um, in the in the prophecy of Hosea, and there's a prophecy there that's concerning this very time for us. It says, "Say to them, right, say to them." Um, say to the sisters, let me bring up the verse and the scripture right here to find um, the name Ruhama. Now, that is a, a name, right, that refers to mercy. And this is what we are to call our sisters, right? In other words, to speak to our sisters, um, mercy. Hey, here we go right here. Let me, uh, okay. Take that off of the charge right there. You could uh, so right here. First, we have Hosea one and six, and it says, "And she, speaking of the wife of um, the prophet Hosea, and it's interesting because Hosea, Yahoshua, Yeshua, Hoshua, Hosea, Joshua, Hosea. That name right there is referring to salvation." Right when you study it in the Hebrew from the Hebrew, but it says, and she conceived again and be a daughter. And God Elohim, Baruch Hu, blessed be He, said to him, call her name Lo Ruhama, which means Lo means no, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel. So this name Lo Ruhama means no mercy, because Yahweh said at that time that he would have no mercy upon the Beta Israel, the house of Israel, that's I and I, the black sheep of the house of Israel, Ethiopian Hebrews, black Hebrews, Hebrews, Israelites, right? Collectively speaking in Yahweh's eyes, regardless of your various camp, right? Or your camp leaders or, or the particular doctrine that you'll choose to hold to, you know, the, the knowledge filter, those who don't want to see the king of kings in Christ, don't want to recognize the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. He says that no mercy, lo ruhama, will be upon them, but I will utterly take them away. Now we have that taking away, right, in the, in the captivities. We, we have that very taken away within the captivities. Um, 
uh, the, the so-called transatlantic, trans-Ethiopic ocean slave trade. Another tune of Burhan Selassie, Redemption Song, and Old Pirates, Yes, They Rob I, right? You know, um, sold to the what merchant, the merchant ships. The prophecy speaks of the curse of disobedience upon the lost sheep of the house of Israel, so-called Negroes, blacks, and coloreds who have lost their identity, who are really the center of this prophetic word and message to humanity, right? So, Right here we have um, Hosea 1 and 8. Now we find a couple of verses later on. Let's read the, the interim verses right here. Right, It says right here, But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, linked with the line of the tribe of Judah, at Amawi Hala Selassie, right? the, um, the, the faithful, the, the blameless Ethiopians, right? the Ethiopian Hebrews, Right? But I will have mercy upon the house of Yehuda and will save them by Yahweh, their Elohim, their power, and will not save them by bow, right? by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle or battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. So you, you have to really recognize what's going on in this present time with the whole martial law. The shooting of these cops and the, the police brutality, right? And who these demons that are going out there, there are demons, demonic entities going out there to stir up the, you know, the kings to this, 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 this war, this Armageddon war. We have that within the revelation right there. Right. So there, there is an unseen spiritual. Remember, we don't fight against flesh and blood. So it says, and now when she, the wife of the adulterous wife, of um, the prophet Hosea, when she conceived, uh, oh, okay, let's see right here. Okay, so now when she had con when she had weaned, excuse me, when she had weaned, that means took the baby off of the titty from sucking, right? Getting the mother's milk. Now, when she had weaned Lo Ruhama, she conceived and bear a son. Then Elohim, right? Then said Elohim, call his name Lo Ami. For ye are not my people, and I will not be your Elohim. All right. So you see that for the for the males and for the female. All right. So there's a generation. We see this in this lost generation. Burhana Selassie, Bob Marley also sung about prophetically the generation gap. Right? You have to go listen to that tune. Listen to it. Ask the, the Father, Abba, in Yeshua's name for spiritual ears so, so, so the ear can hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. So you can really get that message, that prophetic message there and how this connects with the scripture and the prophecy in Hosea, which I'm sharing with the eye as we come to the fulfillment. Right, We're coming into the fulfillment of this Hanukkah, right? this Hanukkah season. Right, this feast or the festival of light, the true light, and Ja light. Ja is I and I light. I and I don't need no candle light, the Rastaman has said. And it's true because it's the can it's the, it's not about the candle. The candle is the wax. You know what I'm saying? It's about the 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 lampstand. He's our lampstand. The it's about the oil, the anointing oil. Right, Jah give I and I a little oil and I and I lamps and and keep it burning. And this is interesting because in the Torah portion previous, the tenth Torah portion, and please check out the Discipleship Radio broadcast, also the YouTube's channel Discipleship Radio. Right for a for the video version, we have the audio version at the blog um, Talk Radio. And we've showed that in the previous video. We can probably, I think we maybe can bring up um, the the website so ones and ones know where to um, where to uh, find it. Right now, here, right here. Let's just move it forward, right here. Right. It says, it says, right here. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Blacks, we got niggas everywhere. Black peoples, right. Right, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said to them, Ye are not my people, we're speaking about the children of Israel. Remember what Amos 9 and 7 says, Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? That's Amos chapter 9, verse 7. 
All right, so we have to see it Yah's way, Jah's way, not our little camp or our little clique or our little church or synagogue or from our little own personal. There's no private interpretation. We have to ask for wisdom so that we can really see the signs and recognize what prophetic time we're in. We're in the time of the Shemitah year, a year of release. Also, the blood moon signs are going on. People have forgotten about that. You understand? But Yah already shows us in the word so we don't be like them. We're not dismayed at these signs of the heavens. Right. So here it goes on and it says that in this very same place, right, where it was said to them, right, and said it shall come to pass that in the place where it is, it was said to them, ye are not my people saying that we blacks, you know, so-called black, so-called Negroes, right? So-called Afro-Hispanic and, 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 and Afro so-called Caribbean, right? So-called black people, Negro people, where they said that we were not, right? We, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, where it says, ye are not my people. There it shall be said to them, ye are the sons or the children of the Elohim Hayim, of the living, right? Of the living God. Then shall then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered, that in gathering, remember Sukkot, Sukkot means the in gathering, gather together and appoint themselves one head, one ras, one rosh, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel, All right, Jezreel, All right, Israel, that means the sowing. Right, the sowing is allowed to sow. Right, as I and I are sowing the teaching of the King of Kings in Christ, this sowing, right, as you sow, there's a harvest, and this is this is where our preparation in I and I hearts and minds is so very very necessary, brothers and sisters. So, with that being said, the Rama, let me ch let me connect um, Maccabees. I Maccabees, because I'm 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 seeing so many related um points of prophecy. And I'm trying to just touch on some of the points of prophecy and link them with other points of prophecy. And I hope that you will even listen to this again. Right? Just to listen to it again. You know, just listen to it again with pen and paper and take certain notes. Right? Follow up on it. And if the I then wanna, you know, um join us on the ear in the spirit, you, discipleship radio, you know, check out the broadcast. Testify Tuesday is coming forward. Please do, brothers and sisters. It's very important for I and I to come together and reason, right? Make I and I reason for our our father says right here. Right? So we have um, you know, so now we have the the other aspect, right, of um, the Ruhama, right, where it says, um, um, where is it right here? Um, let's go back to this particular chapter right here, right, right. It says, say, you know, say Ami, right, say Ami, Ami for the, for the sons, you know, which, which basically means my 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 people and to the daughters to the daughters of Ruhama right and that is said to mean she who is um she who is uh shown mercy and we have this right here right in Hosea 2 and 1 right so remember after chapter 1 we read most of chapter 1 right there and 2 and 1 says say to your brethren right say to your brethren I right, say to your brother in Ami, right, and to your sisters Ruhama, Ruhama, plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts, lest I stripped her naked and set her as in the day that she was born. And make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy upon her children, for they are the children of whoredoms. Now, what is being spoken of? This is the great harlot being spoken of a revelation, you know, where many of I and I people have taken on 
a um, counterfeit and a corrupt identity. We, we were told we was born so-called here, or we are so-called African Americans and putting our identity as these so-called Negroes and under Babylon, under this whore, under this harlot, you know, like taking like America, right? Or USSA, you know, as our mother and not recognizing that we were born in Zion, we were born in Zion. The true black Zion of the King of Kings, Kadamawi, Haile Selassie, so very important. But we're in the spiritual Egypt, right? We're in the spiritual Egypt. So when we start to study the book of Maccabees, right? And this is why I'm touching on these various different points. So, so please, uh, Slika, Slika, Yikrita, uh, Yikrita, forgive I and I, brothers and sisters. I'm going a little bit fast. I know I have a little bit of time here to touch on a couple of these particular issues and try to get this out to the eye, them in due time, right? Because, the t you know, the timing is important. To really recognize what time that we're in We're seeing a lot of signs But do we really recognize What time we're in So right here we have um, Some previous videos Rastafari Hanukkah Black Judahites Rastafari the Maccabee Bible The War of Beta Israel The House of Israel We have Rastafari Book of Maccabees Right Why I and I observe Hanukkah very, very important. You see, because the Rastafari elders say, give I and I the Maccabee Bible, right? And the book of Maccabees. And that was somewhat cryptic. The cryptic means like a, a apocrypha. Cryptic means like it was somewhat hidden, you know? And many even today, you know, ask and wonder, well, well, wh what's up with that? What's up with the Maccabee Bible, right? And Here's where the revelation has really become clearer to us. I'm sure many of the elders knew this, but didn't have the wherewithal, you know what I mean, um, to communicate it 